to all grade 7 students who are watching and listening right now. Welcome to our class. I know that you are eager to learn, to prepare your modules, paper and pen, then sit in your most comfortable place where you are right now. I am Sir Romeo C. Tulibo Jr., your teacher broadcaster for English 7. Today, you will experience meaningful learning and a deep understanding of the relevant competency. We will use module 7 in this lesson. Are you ready? Let's do it and enjoy. In this module, you will learn the most essential learning competencies on how to use appropriate reading strategies to meet one's purpose like scheming and scanning. After going through this module, you are expected to first, define scheming and scanning. Second, differentiate scheming from scanning. Third, use scheming and scanning in gathering information. And last, Answer exercises which are related to scheming and scanning. Reading a long essay, story, or whatever forms of literature is difficult for some of the students. In this lesson, you will be introduced of the reading strategies that will speed up your reading ability and will help you comprehend what you read in a minimum time. So let's start with our first activity. Are you ready? So now, let's unlock the following words by filling out the correct order of letters in the alphabet. Let's start with number one. I am one of the strategies you can use to read more in less time, wherein you only have to look for general or main ideas in the material you read. What am I? Yes, you are correct. Scheming is the right answer. Scheming refers to the process of reading only main ideas within a passage to get an overall impression of the content of a reading selection. These are the steps on how to do scheming. First, read the title. Second, read the introduction or the first paragraph. Third, read the first sentence of every other paragraph. Fourth, read any headings and subheadings. Fifth, notice any pictures, charts, or graphs. Sixth, notice any italicized or bold-faced words or phrases. And lastly, read the summary or the last paragraph. Now, you know already about scheming as one of the strategies to speed up your reading skill. Let's try this another activity. Are you ready? Let's have number two. I am another useful strategy in reading wherein you only have to look for a specific fact or piece of information without reading everything. What am I? Very good! Scanning is the right answer. Scanning is a reading technique to be used when you want to find specific information quickly. In scanning, you have a question in your mind and you read a passage only to find the answer, but ignoring unrelated information. Let's have the steps on how to do scanning. First, state the specific information you are looking for. Second, try to anticipate how the answer will appear and what clues you might use to help you locate the answer. For example, if you were looking for a certain date, you would quickly read a paragraph looking only for numbers. Third, use headings and any other aids that will help you identify which sections might contain the information you are looking for. And lastly, selectively read and skip through sections of the passage. After knowing the meaning of scheming and scanning, you can now apply these strategies to comprehend the given text easily, 
especially when you encounter a long story. Thus, skimming and scanning are both important strategies to speed up your reading. Take a look at the sample paragraph in less than 30 seconds. Give what are being asked. But take note, don't read the paragraph word by word, but follow the steps in scheming instead. This activity can be found in your Mojo 7, page 11. Your 30 seconds start now. Your 30 seconds up. Let's answer the questions. What is the title of the selection? Very good. The answer is The Ungentle Death of a Giant Star. Now let's proceed to the second question. Give the main idea of the paragraph. Yes, you are right. The answer is in sentence number two. The explosion called a supernova can catapult a star from obscurity into spectacular prominence in the night star. Let's try another reading strategy to understand the given paragraph. But take note, do not read the paragraph word by word. Focus only on the specific information being asked. This activity can be found in your Mojo 7, page 14. Let me read to you the questions first. First question, what is supernova? Second, what does catapult mean? Third, what happened in the year 1006? And last question, how about in the year 1054? Your 30 seconds start now. Your 30 seconds up. Remember, Scheming is a reading technique in order to get the main idea or the generalization of the material being read, while scanning is to get the specific information of the text. This time, challenge yourselves. This activity can be found in your Mojo 7, page 14. Remember, this activity will be for five minutes only. Now I will read to you the passage. Scan the passage from an article, then answer the following questions. Whale and ship collisions. Although only Norway and Japan still haunt whales, the giants of the oceans still face a threat from humans being struck by ships. Between 20 and 35% of whales found dead show signs of having been struck by ships. More in some species, recent studies found. Right whales in the western North Atlantic appear to have been especially hard hit. Their population is estimated at 300 to 325, says David W. Laced of the U.S. Marine Mammals Commission. Please answer now the three comprehension check and I will leave it to you for you to answer. Now, to differentiate the similarities and differences of scheming and scanning, you will use the Venn diagram. After doing the Venn diagram, continue doing share your thoughts activity on page 15 and 16. Then proceed to your assessment on pages 17 to 19. If you have some queries, 
please do not hesitate to communicate with your teacher. They are just one call or text away. Once again, I am Mr. Romeo C. Tulibo Jr., your English teacher in grade 7. Have a blessed day, everyone, and keep safe.